Uh, uh. Wow, that's one cool looking machine. Is it a vehicle? Wait, you don't know what a motorcycle is? Yes, this is called an or... or uh, not a motorcycle. An orbital bike. It's kind of like a bicycle that's powered by orbital energy. Surprised you knew that much. It first became a thing in the Empire three years ago, but Fern had been looking into this uh, idea around then, too. A year after that, the four big manufacturers here started flying the market with them. This bad boy is Red Star's largest bike. It's fast as hell. Top speeds, 2300 cells an hour. I'm gonna go out on a limb and guess this thing belongs to the Dire Wolf. <sighs> I think you're right on the money. You have to be pretty tall to ride it. This model's just hit the market. So it probably had a hefty price tag. Definitely heftier than my trucks. Figures that a filthy enforcer would be rolling in Mira. Okay, <laughs> there's the mention. It's just not fair. He didn't deserve a sweet ride after what, what he did to my ride. We could just fuck it up right now. I feel like I'm missing something. What exactly happened between you two? I'm glad you asked. Let me give you the full rundown. It all started two and a half years ago. Oh, wait. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Can you just give us a short version, please? Nope, I'm not skipping out on any detail, so buckle up. <laughs> While back, I got a request from the Dire Wolf. He runs with a dangerous crowd, so his hasn't to take it on at first. The job sounded simple enough, and there was someone in need of help. Figure it couldn't hurt to back him up. Too fast drove someplace to beat the shit out of some scumbags. Huh. Uh, and then, just when I thought it was all over, they brought out the big guns, a giant Erebonian weapon. It was a seven-arch tall humanoid robot the Empire nobles used in a war several years back. I imagine they got it off the black market. I knew immediately that it was uh, way out of our league. I told the dire wolf we should fall back, but he had another bright idea. That freaking bastard threw my truck at the damn robot! The attack did the job, of course, but he was able to finish it off barehanded after that. Too bad I gave the expense of my poor baby. He's earning a pile of scrap metal. I'm uh, sorry for your loss. But we rode here in it just this morning. I'm guessing you had it fixed at some point. What? Hell no! You can't fix a car that's been chucked at a giant robot! He gave me the... He gave me this one in vain attempt to extend an olive branch. Same model as my old one. Cheap ass I bought it used, but it was in decent enough condition, I guess. But it ain't... I ain't accepting his apology. Poured my heart soul and harder than mirror into decking out my old part with custom parts. I had to do it all over again, and that took me two years. Two years! That's why I'm holding on to this grudge until I'm six hours under. <laughs> oh, I wish that was a freaking voice scene. That really needed to be a voice scene. I wish it was so hard. Is that a car horn? The hell? Who honked their horn in the middle of the night? Huh. That's a strange looking vehicle. That is... Oh, fuck. Is that the Bracer Guild emblem? I am blanking on if that's Bracer or Libero. I think it's Bracer. It's an off-roader from Leno's range. They're good for driving on rough terrain. That emblem is... Uh, the Bracer Guild? Uh, some people were mentioning about someone coming uh, out. That was a longer drive than I expected. Oh, and that looks like the bus. Guess they finished the repair job. I should speak with the driver and the authorities so I can get up to speed on what's been happening. Damn. Is that an Ingert pickup truck? Someone's got good taste. Oh, boy. Okay. <clears throat> Let's have this discussion. Holy crap! Am I really seeing Red Star's monster machine in the flesh? Man, that other Etwas bike is pretty cool, too. This thing is a work of art. What I wouldn't give to get my hands on one of these. Oh, is this the guy... Oh, I'm trying to remember. Who was the guy that was with uh, Jin and all that sort of stuff? Who was the guy who was, like, like shit-talking us at that point? Was this was it this guy? I sort of remember his style maybe being that guy. <laughs> Someone's a fan, huh? Whoa! Where'd you come from? Don't scare me like that. Were you all passengers on this bus? I'm from the Bracer Guild, and I have some questions. Oh, no, not you. 
Oh yeah, I remember you. You're the guy who was uh, with Jin and Elaine yesterday. I heard you took a train out of town for business. I'm guessing you wrapped that up early. We asked to come here afterwards. Oh, no rest for the wary, huh? Ah, well, it's all part of the job. Everyone else's hands are tied, so I decided to come. Wait, that's not important. My name is Alvis. I'm a C-rank bracer. There's no need to introduce yourself, Van Arkride. I'm well aware of you and your profession. Instead, why don't you explain what you're doing here, hmm? Classified. If you want that info, you gotta join the Ark Ride Solutions crew. You should be glad we are in the area, though, since we saved that bus and everyone on it. W what you did? Wait, no, I remember hearing that. I also heard you demanded co you demanded compensation for it. What kind of man seeks to profit off those in peril? No bracer, no bracer would ever dream of doing such a thing. Um, that's literally how bracer is a job. Not only that, but you have the gall to charge higher rates than us. Have you no shame? Uh, not really. Uh, at least try to come up with an explanation for your actions. I did a good thing. I deserve compensation. They got the money to pay me. I'm not asking the passengers to pay me. I'm asking the freaking company. Excuse me, may I interject for a moment? I initially had reservations about his handling of the bus incident as well. However, I've come to the conclusion that Van's price was perfectly reasonable given the risk involved. Also, I would like clarification on one of your points. Why should he be expected to behave like a brazier when he isn't one? Uh, huh? Well, um... Furthermore, the guild receives financial aid from the Epstein Foundation. Unlike you, Van doesn't have that privilege. Oh, that's a good point. They give discounted rates because they, um... They get a bunch of money from the governments and companies. That's a good point. So it only makes sense that he would charge a little more than you do. He has to make ends meet, too, you know. I truly admire the guild's ideals. That's precisely why I'm disappointed to see you chastise one of the people you are sworn to protect and serve. Oh. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> yeah, bracers are fucking hypocrites, man. Who would ever want to be a bracer? Fuck, 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 fuck the bracers. Ugh, first Elaine stuck off for that no good punk. Now this girl's doing the same. Why? He must, have been bra he must have brainwashed them all. That's the only explanation. Okay, okay, I'll admit I was a bit out of line. I have my thanks for saving the bus. But I suggest you back off from here, Spriggan. The Bracer Guild's on the case now, so your presence is no longer required. We have this monster mystery squared away in no time flat, so if you could mosey on over to the sidelines, that'd be swell. Well, we got a job to do, too. So you can go ahead and take care of the monsters, sure. Oh, rude much? I've never met a hot-headed bracer before. All the ones I run, uh, ran into back home were pretty chill. Oh, I didn't realize the Gilhead branches in the Central East. Eh, wouldn't be living up to their ideals if they didn't. He ain't exactly mature, but he's got to be at least a little strong if he made his C rank. Might be able to make use of him later. <laughs> um, Van, you do realize you're sounding like a villain, right? That's the plan. <laughs> I don't know where he ran off to. Probably the police station. We can make our way over there later. Okay, I think we've got enough info at this point. True enough. Great. Then let's go back to the inn and go over what we learned. We can certainly do that. Sounds good to me. Attacks are pretty rare from what I understand, but if we start to see more of these, I might ask the guild about fielding some more tr uh, patrols out here. That makes sense. Hmm. Why is it outside? Is it because Walter's gonna come out? <clears throat> well, we managed to gather a lot of information in record time. Yeah. I think we can just ignore that bracer for now. Though I'm surprised we never ran into that mint-haired guy. Then there's a story we heard at the factory. The one about the gasoline, right? Yeah. Liquid was once a common fuel source for machines. Now it's mainly used as a solvent for, uh, or for starting fires. Yeah! Okay, I mean, if you want to ask me, like, what are the, like, likely uses of a bunch of, like, fencing wire and a gasoline? It would be to create a f 
barriers to keep something in. That would be my guess. Maybe something else, like this is the only thing I got. Maybe something else found one of these Genesis. And via that, they also had a Grendel type transformation, but they're not controlling it, or they went out of control, or they're just evil in general. And they're influencing things like the, um, uh, the hounds in the group and whatnot. And basically, uh, what's her face? The, the woman is just straight up, um, maybe she's just straight up, like, keeping them at bay. <clears throat> Our clan keeps some in storage for certain weapons, too. Hey, you can find the sus uh, substance it's made from in the Central East. Why did Ida need something like that? You could ask the same thing about the wires. Ah, there you are. Oh, hey, what's up? Um, you know that woman you were asking about earlier? Well, she just dropped by the inn. Wait, what? Ooh, okay. Wait, what? Ida came here for real? She asked me to do something for her and then darted off before I can mention you were looking for her. She left three letters with me. One of them is addressed to an, uh, Eisenschild. Oh, it's not Eisen's child. It's, uh, Eisenschild. Fuck. <laughs> Fuck. No, I left too much of a gap in between. I don't remember. Another Zio branch in the capital, and the last one is Sakruga. That's not in Calvert, right? She left me some money to mail them, but when I opened the envelope, there was 10,000 Mira inside. I don't need this much just to send a few letters. So I ran out after her. She looked dreadfully pale. If it's not too much to ask, can you go look for her? Uh, Ida? Wait, no, w read the letter. Hey, wait up, kiddo. We're going after her. Right, we'll take care of this, so don't worry. No, take the letter! Read the letter! <laughs> well, that's a face I didn't expect to see. Not here, anyway. She must have been dire straits if she didn't notice me. Ida, where are you? Who are you, Jess Fairy? She can't have gone that far. Let's head off to one of the exits and see if we can find her. Take the fucking letter. Understood. Take the letter. There's no way that doesn't include in, uh, useful information. She really is unwell. We should hurry. Get the letter. 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 Get the fucking letter. Get the fucking letter. The fucking letter. The fucking letter. The fuck. Why do we. <sighs> Why would she have a fucking... We have Kruga here! We have a member of Kruga here! Just let us read it! Ah! There's no way that would not be useful information! How are you guys missing that? I guess her... Okay, she... I guess she didn't dart off that much. I was not imagining it like that. That we'd actually run into her. So that makes more sense, my bad. Fairy? <laughs> I'm not dreaming, am I? And after I went through all the trouble to write a letter and drop it off at the inn, I'm going to assume our regimental commander got in touch with your people. He asked about us, didn't he? Yes! You really had me worried, you know. I, I thought something might have happened to you. I just had to track you down. That's why I went straight to Calvert's capital and enlisted the help of a Spriggan. Oh, I've heard quite a few stories about you. <laughs> nice to finally meet you face to face. The pleasure's mine. My name is Van Arkride. Don't know if you remember, but we fought on the same side two years ago. Mind telling us what's going on? You, uh, don't look so hot. You aren't hurt, are you? Here, let me... Stay away from me! On the same uh, side. Ida? What's wrong? You know, it actually makes sense if he was from Zephyr, not uh, the Red Constellation. Especially if on the same side. Especially because they broke up, right? So it isn't necessary. So there would be a lot of people that would have went out and done stuff that uh, Red Constellation wouldn't have. That makes sense. Sorry. I didn't mean to lash out at you. But really, there's nothing you can do for me now. I don't think we're quite on the same page here. Could you fill us in on what's going on? There may be something we can do to help. Huh? Who are you? She's a part-timer at my office. More importantly, are you... Hey, what are you doing over there? Ugh. You three again. Wait, hang on. 
There's a four. Haven't seen you around these parts. Are you a tourist? No. You're a Jaeger, aren't you? Ha. Huh. So a bracer was here all along, and I wandered in without even noticing. Pitiful. The boss is probably rolling in his grave right now. If he saw me like this, he'd be ashamed he ever gave me the name Flame Eater. Ida, let me help you. There's gotta be something. <laughs> I still had so many things I wanted to teach you. Thanks for looking out for my little sis, Van. I've got one little favor to ask of you before... I'm too late! Hey, look, it's a red constellation. Oh, what is that? Monsters? Crap, it must be those wolves again. Nah, but we're getting closer to what's been driving them to attack. Uh, are you serious? <laughs> Looks like time's up. Fate's calling. Everyone, you have to make it out of here alive, no matter what. And Barry, you have to live, too. For me. Oh, don't speak like that. <gasps> Are those military monsters? Yeah, but they ain't exactly normal. Verita, you gotta focus on what's in front of us. Fight to survive. That's what your friend would tell you, right? Everyone, you have to make it out of here alive, no matter what. And Barry, you have to live, too. For me. Oh. <sighs> what are we supposed to do? We'll take care of these three. Ugh. All right, fine. I don't care what happens to him, but you two stay safe. Okay, let's wipe the floor with these creepy things. Careful, something's up with them. Stay on your guard, especially you, Agnes. Will do. I'll lend you my support. Okay, it's been a while since I played this game. How do you do this again? A boost would work here. Slow wouldn't be bad right now. Hit him fast, Barry. Double miss. Ooh. That's concerning. I'll take you on. Thanks, pal. Make sure everyone's at top form. Sort of wish she had a turn or like one or two later, but. Not allowed. Do I not? I have over 100. Energy outfit at maximum. Keep it up. It's working. Oh. Hmm. Activating skill. Give me power. Yeah. You're finished. Take me. Rampage. This gauge limit broken. Full boost. Go all out. This will hurt. Okay, that worked out. I don't expect to have another notable fight immediately after this, so hopefully this is not a notable fight uh, immediately after this. Oh, wait. <laughs> Echo says, No way! You take down three and another three take their place. There's no more room for down. These are things, uh... These, these things are what scare the piss out of all those wolves. Their strength and speed are almost uncanny, but what's really getting me is... The, 
that's that's not possible. Arusha, get back, you two. <sighs> Can a man enjoy a drink in peace? <laughs> Ah, you're that man from earlier. Never thought I'd say this uh, say this in a million years, but I'm happy to see your ugly mug. Uh, I managed to take out one of them. How are things going on here? Uh, there's more? Who in the blue blazes are... <laughs> Leave the small fry to me. In return... I expect you to forget about the car shit and let bygones be bygones. That's a tall order. Don't screw this up, Dire Wolf. You back him up, Racer Boy. But where do you think you're going? Wait, didn't you just say Dire Wolf? What's an Enforcer of Ouroboros doing here? <laughs> it's time to meet your maker, you damn mutts. Let me show you the fangs of a real wolf. You're crushed! He just S-crafts his way through them? No, no, I'm just gonna have another S-craft after this. Ah, we're lucky the uh, dire wolf and the bracer showed up when they did. No, actually, I'm not sure we can chalk that up to luck. I'm a little concerned over the fact that he ran away from the one he took down, because, you know, coming back to life. Right, I don't think we can either. The bracer came in to investigate the monster's strange behavior, and the dire wolf had his own reasons to be here. Wild mutts. And let off his leash, which means he's almost definitely from Ouroboros in some way, right? Didn't that man from earlier say no one was here? Then he was lying. If Ida came from this direction, then the Eisenjiro uh, Eisen camp must be nearby. Yeah, that guy was definitely bullshitting us. There's no way a normal guy could get around those monsters. Barely scrape by ourselves. <sighs> they kept getting up no matter how many times we knocked them down. It's like they weren't even alive. You almost reminded me of the ghouls from the stories I used to tell back home. No, that can't be what's going on here. It's just, it just can't be. Ghouls. Okay. I'm trying to remember specific things that came up that might be notable on that front in the previous series. I'm not, nothing's coming to mind outside of like sort of generic monsters here and there or like the, um, the, Dark Dragon, or whatever it was called, that was below the capital in uh, the Empire. That part of it. Why now? Yeah, no, I'm, I'm super curious about that. It's glowing again. Is it just foreshadowing? Is that, like, the entirety of it? Or is there an actual mechanism that we can put together? I wonder, I wonder. Yeah, that's a telltale sign that something's up. Feels like the higher elements are active here, too. Camp's probably over on that plateau. Ready to move? I've never been more ready. Let's get moving then. Okay. Not seeing other enemies in the area yet either. What is that light? I can't see very well from here. It's a red star looking thing. Hey, look, red cancellation. Oh, there's the enemies. It's a little off center, isn't it? Based on the direction that we come from. It's more towards the back than it is in the center center of that. Great. You're a true professional, okay. then. We got a... We got a thing out of that one. Warning! S-level threat detected! Ooh, big enemy! Let's get to work! I'm not, have we gotten one of these before? Show them what you're really capable of! Take 
the sun. Take this. I'm not sure we have gotten something that would be described as such. Uh, but also, it's basically dead already. So, S level what now? This has less health than the thing that I just killed. The little chicken thing. Or the big old chicken thing. Yeah. What? Uh, that's good. I have to try that now. What do you mean, S-level threat? Why were you... Like, it looks different than the other enemies, but why were you warning me about that? Impede. That's probably pretty good. Shifting to oh, nope. Not pretty good, because I was able to just make one of these before. Whatever. That's... Pr that's... Uh, meh. Especially something hidden behind a mon... Like, it wasn't particularly out of the way, but... Warn me about a monster and I just get something that I've built like three of already. I think I've actually picked up before even. The glowiness in the wolf is really interesting. It's damage up in the wolf. Yeah, I had a feeling that was that good. Well, this sucks. Yeah. Hard to deny that. I need to rest up. <laughs> Got your number. Okay. Here. Here goes. How far? How far did that all get me? Uh, not that. Uh, how far did that? So they got her back to 142. So they're both in like a decent. So she started at 200, uh, and she got. Back to 143 after all the extra stuff. So that's not horrible. Uh, in terms of just like... Because obviously it feels like the CP generation in this is turned up for the sake of encouraging you to be using crafts and S-crafts regularly. Especially since it looks like there isn't a 200% uh, S-craft uh, usage. There's just the 100 one. Unless I'm mistaken. It has admittedly been a while. Ooh, I tried well, that's actually... So, so re real quick. Okay, so I'm in battle. Can I... Yes, I can just come in here and do this. That's interesting. I haven't really thought about that before. Why does it keep like they're not they're not weak, but they seem weaker than hey, let's be super careful and whoops. Deploying shield. Yeah, I'm also I also have been fucking up a lot of that sort of stuff. Admittedly. A boost would work here. Huh? Looks like check. Oh, so many. so many. Yeah, so many fucking enemies. Here, let's stun one of them. Probably the wolf. I think that's who, who we want to stun first. And then via that, so many of them. Ooh, I, I lost. Got a whole slew of them. Keep it up. It's working. Activating Time skills. for the main event. Get down. Boost gauge. Limit her unlocked. Perfect chance. Ha, yeah. Have some more. Yes. Certain arts will be more effective. Going all in. All you on yet. We're down. Here goes. Sucker. Activating skill. Oh, fuck. No. Hit him it back. was over. It was so over. Damn it. 
Ah, oh, damn it. Oh. Yep, that's definitely a campsite. I figured we've got to hurry. Do we? Where is the campsite? I might have missed it. Or he's just looking up. And I don't see up. Ah, I'm starting to wonder. So, this is really starting to feel long. And maybe it's because I'm fighting every enemy. And maybe that's a mistake. It's probably a mistake to fight every enemy. But with this system where you fight them in the field, I am way more incentivized to fight every little thing. And the length of time to do every battle via that just adds up, man. Be careful. That thing was me. Let's get to work. Uh, I, I'm wondering if it's like I'm on Nightmare and like if there was a mode that was balanced around basically fighting everything, this would probably be it, right? So it's, it's unclear at this point with this new status quo how much of it is completely dependent on that, right? We've nearly made it to the plateau. Hang in there, Ida. We're coming. No final enemies? Oh, thank goodness. I'm trying to get a... They wouldn't throw me into a boss battle without it. There's a healing station. Okay, yeah, here's the camp. Okay, I, I need to go... Good stop. Oh, it's at the top of one. Okay, that makes sense. Okay, I need to stop very briefly and then uh, start after this again. So, me a few minutes and I'll be right back. <laughs> 